Welcome to a new series I like to call Zombie Reviews, where I take a close look at each zombie and all of the plants versus zombies. Today we'll be looking at the Garden Variety, the Conehead, and the Buckethead. Now if you go to the Garden Almanac, you will know that the Garden Variety Zombie is very low toughness. It's the first one to spawn no matter what. It can be killed with like one or two puff shrooms. I mean, it's, it's really bad, but it definitely is good for its purpose as a... Almost like a uh, a way to start, because if we just started off with footballs, dancings, and zombie bosses, we would really be in trouble. And this is just a really great way to ease someone into the game, especially at the first level where you're just pea shooters. Where they're just really weak, and they get you ready for the game ahead. And we look at the Conehead next, which is a mildly stronger, you probably kill it with about three puff rooms or two pea shooters. Um... It's pretty, it's still pretty weak, um, but it can cause problems if it spawns early. Like, I've seen a lot of people be, um, killed by coneheads for not being ready, especially with not having enough sunflowers, or just not, or wasting sun on something like lily pads right away. And these, these ones are still not that strong, and they take a couple hits to kill, but they can be, they can cause some trouble, especially since they can't be hurt by magnet shrooms. So sometimes they will cause trouble, but a lot of times they're just kind of a mild annoyance, to be honest. They're really not, they don't give you like a challenge, they're like, oh my god, a cone hit zombie. It's kind of just like, oh, just gonna be annoying. And the next one, final one we're gonna look at today is the bucket head. Now the bucket head is pretty strong, takes a lot of hits, three to four P shooters, I would say. Um, now this is one that, even in the early early game, before you even get a lot of other zombies, is pretty scary to deal with, even later in the game. I mean, when, without melon poles or something, it takes about three or four of the of pea shooters, and it's just really dangerous. I've seen, it kills you, it's one of those things that kills you a lot, especially in fog. But, um, they're very strong, they, uh, they can take a lot of hits, they're, they often time will, le will eat one of your plants, maybe it's just like a, a pea shooter who's in front, or a puff shroom or something, but they will a lot of times take something away from you, or even get through to a lawnmower, but they are pretty strong, um, they're not the most tough, but they are pretty scary sometimes, but they can be solved easily if you have something like a potato mine or a cherry bomb or something like that, where you can just kill them one, one shot, but without something as, something to slow it down, like an ice room or the ice pea, you're really going to be in trouble. It's something that's going to give you a lot of stress, especially when it spawns, you're going to go, no, it's a bucket head. And something you're going to have to really learn how to deal with. And the best way to deal with it is three pea shooters with a walnut in front of it, because by that point, they'll, they'll probably only eat a little bit of the walnut, and your pea shooters will be able to kill them before he can destroy any of your plants, which is extremely helpful and a good setup for dealing with any zombie, really. Besides ones like football, where you need like a hypno shroom or a lot of melon pulse or something, but all, all in all, they're not the strongest, but they are definitely terrifying. So thank you for watching.